Welcome back, my beautiful friends. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a taste test. I found this item at the Dollar Tree. And it was one of the $3 items. I believe. Don't quote me. It could have been one of the $4 items. Uh, I threw away the receipt because I hadn't really planned on doing a review of this. And I thought, no, I'm going I'm to do a review because after looking at the ingredients, they're not real bad. Uh, let's see, where were they at? Almost everything on here I can pronounce. I can't see it real good, but I had my glasses on earlier and I looked and uh, the ingredients aren't horribly, I don't know if y'all can see that, but the ingredients aren't horribly bad. Uh, there's marinara sauce, crushed tomatoes, fine ripened fresh tomatoes, naturally derived citric acid, chicken stock, water, chicken stock, natural flavor, salt, onion, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, sugar, modified, modified cornstarch, which I don't, you know, I don't like that, but basil, sea salt, oregano, black pepper, cheese shells, durum flour, enriched samoya flour, water, spring Spring patent flour. Never heard of that. Now I'll have to check that out. Salt, canola oil. The filling is ricotta cheese, water, eggs, modified food starch again, Ramona cheese, and spices. The topping is mozzarella cheese, pasteurized part skim, skim milk, salt, cheese cultures, and enzymes, and basil. So the ingredients are horrible. I pronounced everything on here. Of course, one I kind of got tongue tied on. But uh, I'm going to try this, and I'll give you a, an honest review of it. The uh, six grams of sugar, which are hard, which isn't horribly bad, once again. And let's see if I can. The saturated fat is five, and trans fat is zero. Sodium is a little high, 560 milligrams. But this is a uh, this is a one pound meal and back here it's talk about Mama Tos Toscanos Mama Toscanos Deli was founded in 1900 on the hill on Macklin Avenue St. Louis, Missouri when Nick Toscanos great grandfather started serving customers using his Family's authentic old world Sicilian recipes from Catena, Italy. Nick and Patty Toscano took over later and continued to serve their great community for over 43 years. Under their stewardship, the brand developed an increased demand nationality nation, nationally including a spot on the Food Network show, Best Thing Ever Ate for Their Toasted Raviolis. I should have put my glasses on. Today, Mama Toscano is very fortunate to be able to reach our customers outside of St. Louis. We hope you enjoy Mama Toscani's authentic family recipe. Family, t authentic family recipe food products. And pictured on the front are Nick and Patty at the original Macklin Avenue and above Mama Kate Toscana rolling their famous breaded ravioli. Pretty neat, huh? So, you can microwave this, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to put it in the oven. It says, remove tray from carton and place on baking sheet. Pierce or cut small slit in film to fit. Cook for 45 minutes. And then you let it stand for one minute. 
really looks good. And like I say, if, if it's good, this is something that uh, if you're on a budget on fixed income, this is a meal that it's got four and it looks good. All right, let's get this baby cooking up. Uh, if you're on a budget, you know, one or one or two people. I mean, this could even serve two people. Let me get that clear out of y'all's eye. Uh, of course, it's small, but you know, if you had two people, and you could each have one, two of these a piece, and then have you a salad or or corn or whatever. And uh, it would make you a meal. So I'm going to cook these up. And we're going to see what they taste like. And I will give you an honest review on these. Alright, I'm going to put y'all on pause. And uh, when it gets done and cools a bit, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm, I'm fixing to take it out of the oven. It sure smells good, if nothing else. Smells delicious. Let's see what this baby. Ooh, it's bubbly hot too. Ooh, yum. I wish y'all could smell that. It smells delicious. Okay, we're supposed to let it sit for a minute. See so, okay. If it's worth me buying again or not. By the smell of it? Yes, but of course, you know, until you taste something, you don't know. But for the price, uh, it's a great deal. I'm thinking it was three the $3 meal. And I normally, normally don't buy many stuff like this at Dollar Tree, but, uh, it was a pound and I thought, man, that's, you know, that's something to make a meal with. So, that's the reason I got it and I wanted to taste test it for you guys. Let me get a spoon. It sure smells yummy. I know that. Uh, it's soft. It's not hard like a, you know, you get a lot of the frozen pasta and they're hard. This one isn't hard. It feels, the texture feels great. A little sauce over it. Whew, it's hot. Okay, y'all gonna have to give me a minute here. So everything up there. <sighs> I've gotten so messy the older I've gotten. I need to clean up to the clean someday. I don't know if that's gonna fall over. Let me try to hold this. My phone isn't wanting to work. Where y'all at? Y'all running away from me. It's very soft texture. Like I say, most of the pasta I've ever gotten, it's like real hard and rubbery. I'll sit y'all down. This is very soft. I'm shaky. I haven't ate nothing today. Mmm. You all. 
oh my gosh that tastes just like homemade um those stuffed shells i always make or not always make but the stuffed shells that i've made before homemade tastes just like that it's a uh, got that italian spice but it's not overpowering you can taste the cheese in it i get a uh, ricotta you can taste that the tomato sauce is just really a a mild flavor mm. okay what do i give this honestly i'd give it a 10 but since it's from a box i'm gonna give it a nine no all serious uh aside i give this a nine it is delicious i'm not real sure it would be enough for a family although you get four shells i think a couple you know a man and wife or a mom and a child whatever uh i think a couple and then with the side you would need definitely need something on the side more likely Unless you're, you know, there's a lot of little elderly people out there that are real thin and stuff. This would be great for them. Uh, now, me, I could eat all four of them. But I'm just saying, if I had someone else here, I could make this a meal. I would add some garlic toast. I would uh, add a small salad with it. And you, you've got a meal. This is delicious. I hope when I go back to the Dollar Tree, they got more of these because I'm going to buy more of these. Put them in my freezer because that's perfect for, you know, a single person. Perfect. Well, like I say, someone with one child or a, I don't know, a husband probably eat more than that, but these are perfect. It's good. Twenty three grams of protein also. That's good. Y'all know what my plan had been? My plan had been to cook these and taste them. The more likely it was probably gonna end up like trash. I hate to say that, you know, especially being on a fixed income. But that's that's how much of a high hope I had for these. Y'all, they are delicious. And when I say delicious, I mean home cooked per perfect flavor and everything mm. I, i'm glad i put them in the in the oven because i'm not sure if that it turned out quite as good in the microwave but if y'all go to dollar tree and you see these and you like, you know, Italian kinds of foods and stuff, definitely get you some. You will not be, you will not regret it. The sauce is, it's so good. I don't like a lot of sauce on anything that I eat. Uh, spaghetti, uh, pizza, nothing like that. I like just a real thin layers of the uh, sauce because I just don't care for it this is delicious this is the best sauce I have ever had okay I'm gonna get off of here me and Bailey just may go to the Dollar Tree here in a little bit and see if they get make sure they got some more of these They're really good y'all have a blessed day and I will talk to you later